Hello everybody, I am LQ and this is the LQ Review back at you with another retro trailer reaction. Today we are reacting to a movie, a trailer for a movie from the creative genius mind of George Lucas. That's right. No, it's not going to be Star Wars or The Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. It's not going to be uh, any of his real classic movies. It's not even a movie directed by George Lucas, let's be real, but it is from the mind of George Lucas. Uh, this is going to be a reaction to the Ewok adventure. That's right, before there was an MCU, there was an SWCU, the Star Wars Cinematic Universe, and it included the original Star Wars trilogy, as well as the Ewok adventure and Ewok's Battle for Endor. So this is the first movie, uh, the first Ewok movie, let's be real, it really bears little to no um, relationship to the Star Wars trilogy, other than the fact that the Ewoks are in it, Wicked is in it, Endor is in it, very little uh, interconnective tissue here, though. Uh, so, so I've never seen this trailer. This will be my first time ever watching it, as far as I know. I mean, if I saw it as a little kid, maybe I saw it as a little kid. This will be my first time watching it. Uh, so, the movies weren't great. They weren't even good, really. They're fascinating. They're fascinating. It's fascinating to watch what people, th what, what the studio thought Star Wars was going to be. What, to some extent, George Lucas thought Star Wars was going to be. It ended up not being this at all. Um, even when you look back to, like, the Star Wars The Holiday Special, this idea of what Lucas thought Star Wars was going to be, or what Fox thought Star Wars was going to be, man, it just it didn't pan out that way. So let's check out the trailer for the Ewok Adventure. I'll react to it, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. In a galaxy far, far away, a brother and sister search for their galaxy far, far away. Okay. How are we gonna find them? We will. Don't worry. And fate leads them to the magical Ewoks. We help you. It always bothered me greatly that the Ewoks talked. It just horribly, horribly bothered me. Reminds me of, what is it, the monster in Willow? It's an action packed motion picture featuring incredible special effects from the award winning team of industrial light and magic. I wonder if they were incredible. I don't think so. <laughs> His outfit, obviously, is very similar to that of the, uh, that of the Rebel Alliance. So, the Ewok Adventure, uh, like I said, it wasn't good. The two little kids are looking for mom and dad, and the whole movie, <laughs> the whole movie, this is what always blows my mind about the Ewok adventure. The whole movie is made moot at the very beginning of the sequel. I'm not going to say what happens. For those of you out there who are like, there's an Ewok movie? There's two of them? How did I not know this? All right, I'm just going to say this, that the Ewok adventure is pointless. The whole movie is pointless after the first 10 minutes of the second movie. The first didn't matter. The first movie didn't matter. Pointless. So I hate it when movies do that too. The, the second, the first movie's pointless because of that, the, because of the setup, the setup in the next one. Alien 3 did that. Aliens was pointless. I'm not going to get into it here, but Ripley saving Newt at the end of Aliens was completely pointless because she put her to sleep never to wake up again. Pointless. I hate it when movies do that. So, that happened here in the Ewok movies, and th they weren't good anyways. It doesn't really matter. Um, but like I said, they're fascinating. They're fascinating to watch. They're fascinating to see the direction that Star Wars was at one time going in. You can even look at the droids cartoons, the Ewoks cartoons. At one time, Star Wars was going in a very extremely kid-centric direction. Not that it's still not kid-friendly. It is. But at one time, Star Wars was going down that, 
I don't want to say the, the Muppet path, but I mean, it was going down the path where this was not an adult property and they didn't intend it to be an adult property. They intended it to be a kid's property. Thankfully, it course corrected and now it's a property for adults that kids can enjoy too. And that's what Star Wars should be. But overall, um, silly, silly movie, silly trailer. Um, but you know what? Other than the fact that the Ewoks talked in the trailer, if they did not let the Ewok talk in the trailer and i was seeing this for the first time without having ever seen the ewok movies you know what i'd i'd be excited for it i'd be excited for it you know i'd be like yes i got to see this it's a it's a ewok movie sign me up and if it was that trailer without the ewoks talking without the ewoks talking i'd have been sign me up i'm there uh, now i have seen the movie and i know that the movie's horrible uh, but a lot of a lot of neat stuff in this trailer, right? They had some some um, some kind of dark, sinister images. You had the little wolf, little. You had the big wolf monster that reminds me of the wolf monster from Willow. You had a lot of really cool images in this, and just the premise wasn't bad. You know, a, a ship crash lands you know on the Ewoks planet and and the kids have to find their mom and dad and the Ewoks help the premise is valid it's a decent premise for a standalone story in the Star Wars universe they just botched it they botched it entirely so anyways I'm LQ this is the LQ review what did you think of the Ewok adventure trailer what did you think of the Ewok adventure movie or Ewoks the Battle of Endor what do you think of them uh, were you one of the few people on the planet that liked the Ewoks movies? Because I've actually met a couple people who found them endearing. I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review. Thank you for joining me where we discuss all things nerdy and geeky and all that good stuff. Until next time, thanks. <laughs>